Hello, this is Mrs. Pun Lai. Today I'm going to read you the book "So Me Goes Missing" by Stuart Menons and illustrated by Jenny Webb. So me goes missing. Nobody knew where so me was. So me, where are you? Called Mum. She went into the lounge. She could hear the grandfather clock, tick tock, tick tock, but she couldn't hear so me. Hey, before we move on, let's have a look. What kind of sound you can hear from from the page? How about this? Can you hear the guitar drumming? Can you hear the bird? Tweet, 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 tweet. Can you make the sound of me? How about the cat? Meow. How about the television? What kind of program is it on? Good morning, everybody. How are you today? And how about the radio? What kind of sound or music has it got? Hmm. Can you see there's a little doggy outside? Woof 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 woof. She listened for an answer, but all she could hear was the leaking tap in the bathroom. It went drip, 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 drip. Sometimes, so me used to hide in his wardrobe, so mum. Quietly tiptoe to the wardrobe doors and flung them open. Hmm. But so me wasn't there. By this time, so me's father had joined in the search. He put his head out the window and called. So me, but all he could hear was a bee, which buzzed close by his head. Can you copy me? Let's go. I'll see if he's in the hut," said his brother. So me and his brother had their very own hut in the branches of the tree at the back of the garden. So me, mum's was you. His brother called out from underneath the hut. There was no sound except for the wind whispering in the leaves. Swish, 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 swish. So me's brother climbed up to make sure that nobody was there. Do you think so me's there? Nobody was inside, but he could hear the fly, which was caught in the spider's web. Ooh, it went buzz. Oops, it's going to be eaten. Maybe he's playing with his friends over in the park," said his sister. She called, "So me, come home!" When she listened for the reply, all she could hear was the echo of her voice, which came back softly. So me, come home! So me, come home! So me come home, so me come home. Just then, a police car drove past the house. 
its lights was flashing, and its siren went. Ooh. It seems to be calling. So me, so me, so me, so me. Mom and Dad were beginning to get worried now. What will we do? Said Dad. Ring the police, said Mom. All the family stood by the phone and heard it ring at the other end of the line. Doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. It's quite an old kind of phone. Then Somi's father saw the big toe poking around the side of the sofa. The toe was moving up and down and up and down. Dad quickly put down the phone before anyone had time to answer it. Oh! <gasps> Behind the toe was a leg. <gasps> Behind the lake was a body. <gasps> Where so me? On top of the body was a head. On top of the head was a pair of headphones. <gasps> so me looked at them with surprise. His toes stopped tapping to the music. Then he took. Of the headphones. What's the matter? Oh, everyone has been looking for him and he said, What's the matter? Oh no. We have been looking for you everywhere, they said. But I'm not lost. So me put on his headphones and went on listening to the music. Let me put on my headphone and listen to my music. It's time to say goodbye. Hope you love the book. Enjoy, enjoy. Have a good day.